Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I'm back today to record some more December memories in my lumpy custard book. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I mention lumpy custard, you think you know she's lost the plot. There is a video showing how I altered this book um, from a book about lumpy custard <laughs> to be my Christmas memories book. So we've already done um, three or four pages. Yep. And on to the next two. And we'll do these two today and then these two. So I'm going to record um, the fact that I got everything out on the dining room table. It's just a tiny picture, totally wee picture. Um, but it's my wrap, rolls of wrapping, my bows, my scissors, my sellotape, a bag of bags. And I just thought it might be quite nice to record the fact that we're wrapping all our gifts. And I've got a little piece of paper here with some parcels and Santa is I think by the look of him ticking off his good list and bad list. Naughty, not bad, naughty list. <laughs> um, and I just thought it would be nice and simple just to collage it up in a little cluster like that and put the title there and I think I've got a sticker on this that's maybe appropriate. Santa Claus is coming to town. We'll use that one, I think. So let's just get that stuck down. That's really easy. I've got my glue stick here. So yeah, wrapping the parcels for under the tree. I'll need to take a picture of the parcels now that they're wrapped. That's quite a jolly old Santa, isn't it? Quite an old fashioned looking Santa. <laughs> Just put them all at a jaunty angle. I'm enjoying this book because it's just so super easy. Just a few pieces of whatnots. This has been stamped, I'll show you again. The old typewriter alphabet stamps. I've been using them a lot. If you've been watching the videos, you'll be saying, oh, there she goes with her typewriter stamps again. <laughs> and we'll just slightly overwrap overwrap, <laughs> overlap and let's see Santa Claus let's move that back out the way Santa Claus is coming to town I think we'll stick with down here there we are Easy peasy. Right, the next page I have is another shopping trip. This time it's to the fort in Glasgow. Um, it's an open kind of horseshoe shaped shopping centre. So it's very dog friendly. All, nearly all the shops and coffee shops and whatnot are dog friendly. So it's really good and it's a place we, in fact, Millie's quite famous at the fort. <laughs> but this is a picture of their little miniature train they've set up to give kiddies rides and it goes through this glittery tunnel which is a big um, Christmas bauble <laughs> and they've got a, like a mini um, Christmas market as well going which is nice, it's nice and festive let me see now just put that here. We'll maybe put the bow slightly on the top of that. And then we'll put that on another layer. And then maybe that over everything. Yeah, why not? 
So down first is this piece here. Just move all the bits out of the way. Yes, the shopkeepers at the fort know Millie well. I think it's because she wears our ladybird fleece all the time. And so she's very eye-catching because she's got this fleece, fleecy jacket. Because the greyhounds need to wear jackets all the time because they get really cold because they don't have much hair. <laughs> and um, she wears a... A fleecy jacket and so I think it's because she's quite recognizable with her jacket on <laughs> there we are. Now, what did I do with my thing and this just center stage, I think, the little train. When we were there the other day, I never took a picture because we were sitting in a side a coffee shop, but out in the the main bit outside, there was a like a jazz band. It was some young fellas all dressed up in their their suits and they walked along one side and walked back up the other side playing Christmas carols in a kind of jazz band type way <laughs> if you know what I mean and they all had Santa hats on and everybody was clapping and singing along <laughs> now I think I might need I think I might need this other glue. Cause it doesn't No, that doesn't want to play today. I'll need to poke a hole in that. Let's just go for the glue stick then and just dab it on gentle. Because you can't be precise, but as long as it's enough to get it stuck down and not make a mess, I'll be happy. Something fell there. There. Quite pleased with those pages. Yep. Here's another Christmas shopping. That was John Lewis. That was the day we went down to La Loma. It's nice looking back even now, and that was just the other week. Wrapping and the fort. So this next one is going to be a double page. That's what fell on the floor. And I need that to hold this one shut. This one's a bit bouncy for some reason. <laughs> so, a double page for this one. Because this is to record my birthday. We both have bir December birthdays. Mine comes first, so that was the other day. And we went to the Tickled Trout. And this is off the top of the menu that we got. So it was absolutely yummy. I had the, now where is it? Lamb, no, no. So I had this, the beef bourguignon. Oh with parsley mashed potato, roasted carrots, ch like farm cheddar and thyme dumpling. It was absolutely delicious. And then we had the hot drink and a mini pudding, which is a good idea. So instead of a full size pudding, you can get chocolate brownie, crumble and custard or eaten mess, 
along with a coffee so it's like a smaller although I had to crumble in custard and it was still <laughs> I would have said it was full size so this was the view from our table through to the other bit and just to the other side there um, there was a nice uh, oh a nice roaring cold coal fire oh it was absolutely comfy and cosy so it was and I'm just going to think put that there like that and then on this side is a photograph of that menu along with the festive menu which we didn't take because we have enough turkey at home <laughs> so and then there is this menu which is the pet treat menu and you can get a hot doggy which is chipolata sausages you can get putty no puppy patty you can get winner winner doggy dinner <laughs> and then mash and gravy oh my goodness and then little bones <laughs> they were really quite geared up for the uh, for the dogs they had a whole um sideboard and you could go and help yourself to doggy treats and a towel for dirty paws <laughs> right so i think i'll put this photograph down first where did my book go here we are i'll need that as well and just shunt you along a wee bit there so yeah, so it was out, um, it's about, the Tickled Trout is in a place called um, Bear's Den, which is kind of on the outskirts of Glasgow. Quite a posh place. You go up the street and it's all fancy houses and bungalows and big, big houses. Bear's Den. It's a nice area. And then you go through that and you go out into the countryside. And it's just a kind of along a rural country road. And you get to the Tickled Trout. And they've got an outside area. So not just now, right enough. Because, oh. Not here anyway, outside at the moment. Um, but they do have an outside area for when the better weather comes, hopefully in the spring, the summer. Because that's the first way that we had been. Actually, it was somebody that recommended it. Um, it was somebody we were chatting to. Um, actually out at the fort shop in centre. They were there with their dog and we stopped and spoke. And um, they said, oh, have you ever been to the Tickled Trout? We're like, no, I've never heard of it. Just like, oh, you need to go. They're super dog friendly. And the food is amazing. And we thought, well, we've got a birthday coming up. And on my birthday, I get to pick where we're going. And on Hubby's birthday, he gets to pick. So it's his birthday next week. And I was speaking to him last night. I says, where are you going to pick for your birthday? He's like, oh, he says, I think I quite fancy pizza. <laughs> All right, okay then. He says, but I want it in one of the places in Glasgow. I want it is uh, like one of the trendy places. Like a kind of street foodie, trendy place. I'm like, right. Well, I hope it's a dry day. <laughs> and let's get the name in. So that we remember when we look back on this next year or whenever in the future. We'll know where we went. super easy but you know I just think it just turns out so effective with that pre-made ephemera and just 
a few little photographs. They're not even printed on anything special. They're just printed on copy paper and the tiniest setting. And I just think it's just a little memory jog. Um, and if I wanted a proper picture of something, then I could print it out. There's, we still have them saved. So, yeah. So, that's my birthday, given a, a double spread. <laughs> and the fort wrapping the cafe the tree Loch Lomond John Lewis and a nice heading page 2021 did you see at the beginning of the video the shelf that I keep my two Christmas books on <laughs> I made a little display for them I thought it just because because they just look so nice that I thought oh I'm going to fancy it up a bit and let let the folks see where I keep the books. <laughs> right, okay, so thanks for joining me today and if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.